tuning into another episode of WGC Fits. Today, we are going to be going over the Adele fitting system with wedges and irons. Um, now, I don't know for certain, but I don't think there's too many of these out there. Is that correct, Trent? Not many. Not many. And we are lucky enough to have that here, which is pretty cool. Something we are very excited about. So, for starters, we are going to be looking at the wedges today. Now, they offer five different wedges, five different grind options, um, and then obviously different lofts that are kind of associated with. Starting off with the P-Grind, which is only offered in lob wedges, so 58 and 60. Essentially, that is a wide sole, low bounce option. A little bit of heel, a little bit of toe relief. Going from there, we have the C-Grind, which is a lower bounce grind, has a lot of heel and toe relief, something that you see in a lot of other brands out there. That's a pretty popular grind. From there, you're gonna go into the T-Grind. Now, the T-Grind is a little bit different. They call it the triple sole grind, so three surfaces. Essentially what they're doing is making sure that someone who gets a little bit into the turf, let's say, has good clean interaction and can get out of the turf with not having too much crazy bounce on there. And then we also have the V grind and the D grind, which are gonna be higher bounce options. These are also going to have a lot of heel and toe relief, which is good for golfers who are getting a little bit steep into the golf ball. Now, from a grind option standpoint, what do you think, Trent? You like what you're seeing? I do. Lots of versatility, lots of options. Pretty much can cover the whole gamut here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, lots of, yeah, again, Adele's kind of known for their wedges and their putters. So, mm -hmm. it's, they have a lot of different options. So it's, it's, I, I look at that and I see a wedge set. I feel like we can get something in there pretty good. I don't think it's going to be difficult to make a unified set of wedges versus individuals. You Correct. know, mm -hmm. seems like it's something that can all work together quite well. Mm -hmm. So they also do something interesting, which they call swing, uh, swing, swing match, match waiting or something like that. I think it's called system. Si swing match system. system. Yeah. And essentially what they're doing is they are talking about something that is unique to Adele from what I understand compared to everyone else. Correct. Where we're actually mm -hmm. talking about controlling the face an impact, right? So we see a lot of this kind of tech almost with some woods almost, but a right. little bit different um, because I feel like you can actually see it maybe even a little bit easier with a wedge, mm -hmm. right? You know, or with an iron, let's say. Um, so let's, gonna, let's test it out and let's see. What are you gonna hit today? Thanks for tuning in guys, we're back, sorry. We had some technical difficulties recording the Adele video where we didn't capture the shots. So we are going to have Captain Ball Speed hit some shots for us here, and then uh, we're gonna do our weight test and adjust our ball flights. So um, take it away, Captain Ball Speed. So we're hitting the 54V grind. 54V, yep. And the neutral. Pretty simple to, pretty similar to something that you would hit. And, and like I said, what we're doing is we're seeing how adjusting the weight, just like we did with the irons, is actually going to affect ball flight. Correct. Right. Because as you know, trying to adjust ball flight with a wedge, a club that's 54 degrees aloft on it's it, very hard. it's pretty difficult. Yeah. And we can actually see that here with this. So take it away. So do you want me to hit the number or full swing it? Um, let's like, do go, you want me to hit the flag or do you want me to hit it full? Let's go towards that flag. Let's go 110. Okay. I think I can do 110. So the weight's in the neutral position. Weight's in the middle here, neutral, yep. And to be fair, probably pretty close to where we'd play it for you. Are you a, a you're a little bit of a cut guy with a wedge, right? Still, yeah. Yeah. As long as I see that ball moving right, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, 115, my bad. It's okay, we'll accept that. Just Looks, go. I mean, look, look the felt, it felt so good. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a pole. I never do that. He can pull the wedge. God, these 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 feel good. They do. It's I that might milling be a, that they do. I might be a, an Adele wedge guy. The milling that they do, man, it's really nice. What's the face made out of? Steel? Uh, it's all steel. Yeah. Okay. The. The thing that makes wedges, wedges are a lot like putters and anything that's a milled product, right? Yeah. It's just the, it's the same reason why Tiger mills his irons, right? You can be very precise when you mill a piece of metal to a design. Precise with what? Where you're taking material away, okay. essentially, you know? Yeah, let me hit one more. Yeah, so we'll, I, we'll go I five. Like to, I like to hit this right, apparently. 
A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. That was, that was it right there. I guarantee these aren't my shafts, so they are a little softer. True. Now, let's switch it up because what we're going to do now is we're going to put the weight in the heel for you. Okay. Because like you said, you like to hit them a little bit on the right. I like let's to... see what happens if we adjust it a hair. This feels so different. Uh, the center of gravity is greatly changed when it's we put right that weight in the heel. It's right by the shaft, so now it feels heavier. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, actually, interestingly enough, you know what I mean? like, if you were going to swing weight that, it would come out it's different. It's going to come out different now. It's interesting because you actually can noticeably tell a difference when you do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Okay, let's hit. Yep. So this so is we're the thinking... Adele with the heel weight, and we're just going to see if this helps us fight that, that little bit of the right. Yep. God, that feels good. So interestingly that was better... enough, you might be a heel guy. That was a better uh, trajectory, too. Did mm -hmm. that go lower? Yeah, we'll look later. Lower. We'll look later. Ooh, two straight poles. Look at this. God, those were right on top of each other. Literally. Don't... Right there. See, now it's starting to look like my driver. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the shot right there. Kind of got into that one a bit. Love it. Oh, well, I think I'm a heel guy with the wedge. Well, I can say that you are because that's insane. Oh, be 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 right on it. That might have went a little shorter. I swung softer. Yeah, just a just little a touch. Softer. Yep, but you're still dead in line. You know. I'm actually, I feel like I'm hitting the center of the club face. Mm -hmm. So interestingly enough, yeah. blade guys favor inside strikes because they are going to feel more like a center strike because that's where the mass is, right? Yeah. And with a wedge, obviously, you're more bladey than not. Yeah. So putting that uh, weight I mean, in the heel makes sense. You can't, I, there's nothing to say about that. We're done. You know? I'm done. It's just it. Now we're going to put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> Will the shank come up? Let's see. <laughs> it's not a matter of will, but when. <laughs> when? <laughs> I can tell it's up here. Yeah. This is Center so gravity. cool. It feels, feels just weirder. <laughs> feel it feels weird. I don't know. It's not for me. Technical I, golf term again? I feel like it's not for me, but we'll see. Oh, that went a lot higher. Did it go higher? It looked like it went higher. Launch was a little higher than I've seen. It went right? Well, it actually went right, but tracker yeah, doesn't get take, it sometimes. We take normal eyes off. You're right. Yeah, just a nice little fade. Nothing wrong with it. No. Looks like it's going higher and shorter. It's pretty much what it's doing. Oh yeah, like I had a hard time closing the face. Ooh. What is this? Space magic. Adele magic. That one's probably the lowest I could go with that. And I had to manipulate it a little. Mm -hmm. And your ball flights are still more cons much more consistently a fade. Yeah. It's shorter too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just shoots right. Interesting. I mean, look at the dispersion, especially when we take normalize off. Like that's quite a bit different. Yeah. You know. I felt just like I had more. Works. I felt like I had more touch with the the heel weight though. Mm -hmm. Like you, you could the, be more direct, right? I yeah. hit the, the the yardage way more consistent than just mm -hmm. the center. And, and that's what you're looking for with the wedge, right? With, with the wedge, we're looking for consistently being able to throw darts out there, yeah. you know? You want that thing to be in control. It was a much straighter ball flight, too, you know? And that's just the Just a little thing. pole, which is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you talk about, if you don't mind, really how different they felt 
when we adjusted where that weight was. I could just tell based, like just holding it out here, mm -hmm. that even it's in the toe, I could feel it farther away from the shaft. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna prevent me from closing it. Mm -hmm. Keeps that face open. Yeah. You know, it's an interesting take, isn't it? Very. It works though. It works for, it, it, yeah. It's a proven thing. It's really I cool. Might have to, I might have to get one of these now. Well, we can do a wedge fitting for you. We just did. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> we know what shaft you like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in the new Adele wedges, come on out and take a look and let's, uh, let's see what it looks like for you guys. We'll get you dialed in. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits.